In programming, there exists a concept of abstract classes, which is basically used to define a foundational structure for a class, but without the ability to create instances of this class. Typically, a class in C++ is abstract if it contains a pure virtual function. So, a function without an implementation, defined like this. So that the implementation of this function has to be provided by classes that inherit this abstract class. However, if you try to create a pure virtual function in a U class, you will quickly discover this is impossible. And the same is true for structs with the U struct macro. In my last videos, I talked about interfaces. These allow you to define pure virtual functions as long as you only plan to use them in C++. So check out these videos to know more about interfaces. But for U classes also exists an option to mark them as an abstract class. Namely, by using the abstract specifier inside the U class macro. This will prevent the user from adding instances of the class to your level. For example, with the abstract specifier you will see that your actor doesn't appear under the all classes option when trying to add an actor to your level. Whereas an actor without the abstract specifier can easily be added through this menu. Further, if you use the spawn actor function in C++ to instantiate an actor that has the abstract keyword, then this operation will fail, which can also be seen in the output log inside the editor. An example use case of the abstract specifier can be found in the A trigger base class, which is the base class for triggering collision events based on a given shape. However, the exact shape is provided through child classes, like trigger box, trigger capsule or trigger sphere. So trigger base provides the skeleton for the functionality but it doesn't make sense to put an instance of this class inside your level, since the shape of the trigger is provided by the child classes. So you can utilize the abstract specifier if you want to prevent adding instances of a class to your level if it is used as a foundation for other classes. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe for more Unreal Engine C++ content and see you next time.